guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been so long since we have done a Spooky Box Club unboxing. So long, in fact, that there are three today. Three for us to get through, which I'm very excited about because I have missed Spooky Box Club so very much. And it's like something that brings me like a lot of joy and calm. And I've been very stressed. But because I've been so stressed, I haven't been recording videos, which means I haven't got to unbox my Spooky Box Clubs, so they haven't been able to calm me down, do you see? Did anyone follow that? Oh boy, okay, so. The boxes we have today, let's see what order. We've got Gloomy Days, we've got The Dead of Winter, <laughs> I am behind, and we've got Kitchen Witch! Oh, I'm excited for Kitchen Witch. Okay, so, they seem to go in the opposite order of that, so it's box 71 is Kitchen Witch, 72 is The Dead of Winter, and 73 is Gloomy Days. Gloomy Days is perfect for today, the weather here has not been good. But we're going to start with Kitchen Witch, which I am already very, very excited for. Don't let me die. I feel like, I always say this, but I feel like the witch themed boxes usually are pretty solid, so I'm pretty, pretty happy. So let's see what is in box number one. Ooh, okay, so. I really need to clear my table. Inflection of my voice there was very possibly in Michigan. Okay, first off we have Summoning Pizza, a Planchet Fridge Magnet Set. <laughs> That's fun, okay, so. There is, so these are all fridge magnets. This one says order pizza. And then the options are heck yes, do it, or spirits say no. Oh no, I want pizza. These are fun, okay, that's cute. Next up we have, oh cute, oh! Oh, these are nice. So what we've got here are witchy recipe cards. So they have a little section for the recipe name from, I guess maybe if you got it from like somewhere else, you can write it down. My head! Um, servings, prep time, ingredients and directions and notes. That, ooh, that's super cute and I really should start writing down like recipes because I tend to just make like pots of I don't know what and I never write down the recipes. I just throw things in a pot and see how it turns out and I feel like making a note of what I did would be good for when they turn out well. So <laughs> that's very cute and I just love like the novelty of it. It's so adorable. We have two pins and they're mood pins and you can select which one you're feeling. So there's a blessed bee and a curses. I've been curses for the past year or so now. <laughs> oh, something very useful, useful to me anyway, is in this box. First of all, there's a lollipop. We love a good lollipop. It's a little red and white number. Red, white and brown actually. This! So this is a pentacle herb and flower drying rack which I'm excited about. I've been drying a lot of flowers recently because I want to use them like, you know, like dried bouquets. Um, I want to use them as decoration in my studio. So I am quite pumped for this. How does it work? What do you do? I assume like this and then it comes with all little hooks and then you can put the hooks on and have multiple like little bunches of herbs or flowers drying from this and it's... Can you see? That's so fun! I really love this. Could I hang it up here? I guess I could, although the ceiling's quite low. I'd probably bump my head on it. But I really love this. This is actually very practical for me and practical for me and this I'm just I'm very excited about that. So yes. Oh, there's a little instruction set for it. Okay, cool. So there's like a bunch of instructions on this side and then there is this cute little print on the other side. I have that dress. <laughs> for a second I was I saw like the cuff of the dress because it's something I know I have. I was like, is that me? I was like, no, other people own this dress. <laughs> but it just it was like that moment of like that's my dress. But yes, that's very cute. And then is this the last thing? We're on the last thing. Let's have a look, see. Whatever it is looks really cute. <gasps> what are you? Oh my god, I love it. I really love this. Oh. Can you see? It says Realm of the Kitchen Witch. And it's so pretty. There's like a teapot, there's some herbs, there's some mushrooms, there's a little cup. That's so freaking cute. I really, really love this. Where do I want to hang this? I feel like I don't want to hang it in my kitchen because like I'd be worried about like it getting greasy or whatever because our thing doesn't seem to like dispel like cooking grease very well. So things need wiped down a lot so I'd be like nervous about this but it's so pretty. Maybe like on the kitchen door like before you go in. Not in this house. In a nice house when we finally move but I love this. I want to put it in my studio. I could just put it on my, even though like the, the kitchen in my studio isn't a very good kitchen, I could just put it on the door there, that might be cute. Okay, so that was box number one and I very much enjoyed it. Box number two is The Dead of Winter. Ooh, ooh, this looks fun, okay. So right on top, this is calling to me, we have a frozen churchyard curious collectible pin. That's very cute. 
It's like a little graveyard with some trees and some bats. Next up, this little box is calling to me. <gasps> what are you? Ooh. Oh, cute! So it's little earrings that look like little, like, like little fangs, little teeth. <gasps> That's so cute. I love that. Or claws? Teeth, claws, fangs, something in that realm. And I really like those. I don't really have a spare hole on this side. Can I just put it in one of the hoop ones? <laughs> I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm wearing those now. Those are so cute, I love them. Okay, we have another little box. I was very happy with the first little box. <gasps> cute! Oh, I like this. Oh! <laughs> I like it for quite a specific reason. So, it is a necklace that says dead in this fancy font. And part of the reason I enjoy this is because I've been on a real, like, early 2000s kick recently. And not just, like, goth early 2000s, but, like, mainstream fashion in early 2000s but make it goth and this kind of reminds me of the Juicy Couture font you know it's like on like the tracksuit bottoms and stuff which I I actually bought a pair of velour Juicy tracksuit bottoms with the bling writing across the butt like a week or two ago so no like, this reminds me of that and I kind of love like you know adds the spooky vibe Dead and juicy, mmm. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy that. I wonder if anyone did like that necklace until I compared it to Juicy Couture and now they're like, okay. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Is this maybe earmuffs? <gasps> yes, <gasps> cute. Oh my God, that's so fun. I've, I, I was looking for earmuffs a while ago and I couldn't find any cute ones. Like, I don't know if they've just gone out of fashion, but this has like a, that's so cute. Yay! Oh my god, warm. See, I'm joking and saying that like it's not the season for this, but you would think it was here. It was like hailstones and stuff earlier. Chunks of ice are raining from the sky, so quite frankly, these will do just fine. Love it. Oh, cute. Okay. We have a very green lollipop. And then one final item. I didn't read the contents for the last box, did I? Right, hold on. We'll read both at the same time. Oh, this is nice. It's a little pouch, and you guys know I always need more little pouches. Oh, cute. So it's purple on the inside. It doesn't have a print on the outside, but it's like a like a kind of like fleecy material, which I actually really enjoy. I think I have like a scrunchie in this material, and I don't know why, but I just really like it. And it has a little bat zipper pull, which is very cute. So yeah, and I, I, I always need things like this, and that makes me very happy. I love it. Okay, so right, hold on. So for the Kitchen Witch box, I am so out of practice. Uh, the Kitchen Witch box, we got the herb slash flower drying rack, yes. Decorative Kitchen Witch tea towel. Oh, it's a tea towel. I thought it was like a hanging. I'm probably gonna use it to hang up, but it's a tea towel. Uh, decorative decorative Kitchen Witch tea towel, yes. Witch Mood Collectible Blessed Bee Enamel Pin. Witch Mood Collectible Curses Enamel Pin, yep, both of those. Witchy Recipe Cards, yes. Set of Wooden Planchet Pizza Themed Frizz Magnets, yes and the lollipop, the candy of the month, which is the lollipop, yes. And then in the dead of winter box, the heavy metal spike earmuffs, yes. Black Sherpa cozy pouch with custom bat zipper pull, yes. Frozen churchyard enamel pin, yes. Fox claw earrings, they said they were claws. I, I thought, thought fangs and I kind of looked at them and I was like, claws? Yeah, fox claws earrings, yes. Dead necklace with coffin charm, yes. <laughs> the juicy dead. <laughs> And the Spooky Box Candy Choice of the Month. Yes, so we got everything from both of those. We are now on to today's final box, which we love, which is Gloomy Days. That sounds like it might be cozy. We don't know, but that's him. So let's see. There we go. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Right on top, what are you? Is this a DIY project? There's nothing better than a gloomy, rainy day spent at home. Make yourself a hot drink and snuggle down. Spend a fun hour or two spooky crafting while you listen to the rain outside bliss. And that is perfect because it's been raining constantly. <gasps> I wonder... Oh! DIY rainy day craft kit, stitch and stuff, a felt bat badge or key charm. That's cute! So it has everything you need and the instructions to make a little badge or key charm. That's so fun. And this can go... Do you remember in one of the boxes, I think it was the craft box, there was like a sewing bag? This this can go in there and I can do it. I haven't done any like sewing type stuff in quite a while, but I've kind of been feeling my mood slip that way. So I have like a cross stitch piece that I really, really need to finish that I didn't get around to finishing last time because <laughs> my hyper focus died and then of course I forgot all about it, but now it's back and I want to finish that. And I want to make this. That makes me so happy. <gasps> I love making things. Okay, cute. We've got a pin in here. Oh, we've got two actually. So this one 
is like a little raindrop and it says so gloomy. That's really, really cute and small and dainty. I, I, want, I want to put this on something. <laughs> we have another pin and it's like a sad little lightning thundercloud. Next up we have some tranquility. Do you get it? Do you get it? A warming blend to help with chills and colds on wet gloomy days. It has hibiscus, raspberries, linden leaves, rose hips, chokeberries, raspberry aroma. That sounds nice. And to go with the tranquility, a spider tea infuser. That's so fun. Oh my gosh, let me open it. Oh, he has like a web. Whoop. <laughs> Not everyone might enjoy the idea of putting a big giant spider into their tea, but I do. That's so fun. I love it. I love that. That's such a cute idea. We have our lollipop. Oh, it's cool. So like I thought it was just black, but then you turn it over and it has like white and red through it as well. That's very cool. Oh, we have, oh cute. What are you? There's like a little happy spider charm, which I very much enjoy. It has little heart cheeks. Oh, I love it. I love spiders. Everyone hates them so much and they're just doing their best. Okay. And then the last thing. Oh, is this an umbrella? Oh, cute. It's a spider web print umbrella with like a little umbrella case. And I somehow do not have a compact umbrella even though I live in Ireland where it rains forever and always. That is very handy. It's very light and everything. Oh, cute. So that will be going in my bloody bag. And it's all spooky. I love a good spooky umbrella. So that's very nice. Good, good. Okay, let's read the thing. Okay, so we have the compact spider web umbrella with slip case, yes. Super cute silicone spider tea infuser, yes. And that's by Daydreamer Studio. Tranquility gloomy day tea sampler, yes. DIY rainy day craft kit, stitch and stuff a felt bat badge or key charm, yes. A sad storm cloud mini enamel pin, uh-huh. So gloomy raindrop mini enamel pin, uh-huh. Incy wincy spider enamel, enameled zip charm. Oh, you put it on your zip, that's cute. Yes, and the lollipop, the candy choice of the month. Yes, I enjoyed that so much. Oh, well, that's cheered me right up. I've just, I've been stressed and I was stressing about like getting these videos done because I haven't recorded in so long and I was like, yeah, but that's made me feel really happy. I love those, I had such a good time and it's been so long, so that has brought me much joy. Well, I hope this brought you some joy as well. I have missed you all a lot. And uh, I guess I will just see you in the next video. Bye, lovelies.